welcome back to my journey into objectivism. I am Logan from Logan for Liberty. In my last video, I gave a general overview of what my lack of understanding of objectivism is and why I am interested in checking it out and absorbing as much information from the philosophy established by Ayn Rand as possible. I explain how I discovered the philosophy of Ayn Rand by exploring libertarianism and how it eventually led me to the discovery of Ron Brook and I am Rand. I'm looking forward to parsing the ideas of objectivism and keeping my mind attentive to new and interesting ideas. Hopefully I learned something. Before I dive into the works of Ayn Rand or other objectivists, I think it's important to first have a basic concept of what philosophy is. My source for understanding the fundamentals of philosophy is a book called Philosophy 101 by Paul Kleinman. Firstly, the word philosophy means love of wisdom, and on the surface, philosophy is a social science. Philosophy guides philosophers to explore the fundamental questions about who we are and why we are here. For example, what is our purpose? What is the meaning of life? What is love? What is fulfillment? What is evil? What is good? What does it mean to be a good person? What is beauty? How do we know what we know? What is reality? And how do we know if our senses are objective? And it goes on. These questions might seem annoyingly pretentious, but they serve a purpose. Without philosophy, we probably don't have logic. Without philosophy and logic, we don't have science. And it is important to ask how we know what we know. It is important to understand what reality is. It is also important to understand our senses and how they can deceive us. Philosophy touches on six major themes. Metaphysics, epistemology, aesthetics, politics, and ethics. Metaphysics is the study of the universe and reality. Logic covers how to create a valid argument. Epistemology is the study of knowledge and how we acquire knowledge and how we know what we know. Aesthetics is the study of art and beauty and how people react to art and beauty. Politics is the study of political rights, government, and the role of citizens. Ethics is the study of morality and how one should live his life. If I got any of that wrong, please correct me in the comment section. I am still ignorant of the most influential philosophers and what they had to say. That is something I will explore for personal edification and as a standard to challenge what I acquire from objectivism. Like I said, I found it appropriate to understand the fundamentals of what philosophy actually is in order to conceptually grasp objectivism. Maybe understanding the basic tenets of philosophy will have no influence on whether or not I comprehend objectivism, but it'll be nice to identify the themes and points made throughout the work of Ayn Rand and connect it to each theme of philosophy. Therefore, I can say with some conviction that it will increase my understanding of the philosophy in which I am immersing myself in. Plus, in reality, the basis of knowledge and edification and learning and improving myself relies on integration of ideas that seem separate on the surface but in reality are a lot closer than they actually appear.